Toronto Raptors playing the Minnesota Timberwolves. Listen, man, you're going to watch Carl Anthony Towns airball a three. At this spot, he was 0 for 3 on three-pointers. It's not about the three. Look at that. Did y'all just see what Carl Anthony Towns just did? He asked Tom Thibodeau, can I check out of the game? I don't got it tonight. All right? Now, Tom Thibodeau accepted his request and took him out, Carl Anthony Towns out of the game at this spot. Yo, I rarely see guys want to come out of a game. You get paid millions of dollars. It's the sport that you love. Unless you're tired. I don't see guys come out of a game. That wasn't about being tired. That was Cat just wanting to check out because he ain't have it. Listen, man. I know it's easy to call Jimmy Butler the, the villain. Whatever you want to do, I get it. He His way that he went about asking for a trade, I'm rolling. If you don't like it, I ain't mad at it. Right? I'm not mad at you for being upset at his approach to requesting a trade from the T-Wolves. I'm not mad at that. But I believe there might be some truth in actually what is what he's saying in Wiggins and Carl, and Carl Anthony Towns. He sees these two young guys, all the talent in the world, all the potential, much more talent than what Jimmy Butler ever had, right? Just raw talent. Jimmy Butler is just one of those guys who didn't leave the gym and didn't stop working. But he sees these guys with Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, all this talent, things that only God could give you, like just from Wiggins' athleticism and, and Cat's length and his height, and he's looking at these guys like, yo, y'all wasting it. And I've been looking at Carl Anthony Town. I pretty much watched all of the T-Wolves games. I know we're only four or five games into the season. But look, man, something ain't right about Carl Anthony Towns. And if you go look at the stats, I know it says he's averaging 17 points and nine rebounds a game, which ain't bad. But let's make it clear. If you're actually watching these games, he is not into these games a lot of plays. I don't know if it's the new contract. I don't know if it's, I don't know if he's playing Fortnite too much. I don't know if he didn't prepare properly this offseason. Heck, out. Maybe it's the fact that Jimmy Butler's causing a lot of commotion in that T Wolf locker room. I won't rule that out, but something is not right about Carl Anthony Towns to start this season. I'm sorry, bro. Guys usually look really, really good the first couple weeks of the season, then they slow down and have to kind of pace themselves throughout the season. He's one of the only guys in the NBA that's struggling. I mean, like, the league is averaging a crap ton of points. Every team's averaging a lot of points right now. He's one of the guys that's not having a breakout season. Points are up this year. Got Teams are putting up 130, 140 every other night right now, and he's not one of those guys. So that 17 points, 9 rebounds is a tad bit misleading. They lost this game to the Raptors. Raptors are a really good team in Toronto. I'm not mad at that. But just look at his body language. Doesn't look right. He, he fouled out of the first game of the season against the San Antonio Spurs. Right? To me, he probably cost his team two victories. This game and the Spur game, if he's playing his B-plus game, I got to believe they win both of those games. I think this is what Jimmy Butler was talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Again, if you're mad at his approach, I, I agree. It was not the best of approaches. He showed his behind. But was Jimmy Butler wrong in what he was saying? I don't believe that he was wrong. He's looking at these guys in Carl Anthony Towns and Andrew Wiggins, and he has a big decision, Butler does this summer, do I want to sign here long term? And he's thinking to himself, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if these guys are going to be the guys that I can give the next four or five years of my life to. The team is already committed to them with extensions. I don't know if I want an extension and play with this team because I don't know if I can do it with these guys. Now, Jimmy Butler didn't properly say that, but that's what he probably means. All right? The, these guys are, I mean, look at these guys. Look at the body language. It's, it's all, the proof is in the pudding. I need to see your actions, and right now, Carlin Townsend isn't doing it on the court right now for the T-Wolves basketball team.